नमस्कार कार्यक्रम में आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है और आशा है कि आप ऐसे बरसात के मौसम में घर के अंदर आराम से बैठे होंगे और हमारा ये कार्यक्रम देख रहे होंगे आज ये कार्यक्रम बहुत ही ख़ास कार्यक्रम है ख़ास तौर से आपके बच्चे के स्वास्थ्य के लिए हम अपने बच्चों के स्वास्थ्य में बहुत चीज़ें को देखते हैं बहुत बातों को देखते हैं उसकी तबीयत कैसी है वो देखते हैं पर एक ऐसी चीज़ है जिसके बारे में हम ज़्यादा ध्यान नहीं देते हैं और वो है उस बच्चे का उसके हार्ट का स्वास्थ्य उसके हार्ट की कि किस तरह से है उसमें कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल क्या है और ये बहुत बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है जिसके बारे में बात करने के लिए आज हमारे साथ एक बहुत ख़ास मेहमान आए हुए हैं आपके इस बारे में और कुछ जानना चाहें या कुछ आप सवाल पूछना चाहें तो हमें कॉल करिए और डॉक्टर आपके सवालों के उत्तर भी देंगे तो हमारे साथ आज मौजूद हैं हमारे स्टूडियो में डॉक्टर कुरैशी डॉक्टर शाहिद कुरैशी जो वाइक हॉस्पिटल में जुड़े हैं वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम एंड लखनऊ से दैट यू आर डायरेक्टर ऑफ पीडियाट्रिक कार्डियोलॉजी देर डॉक्टर कुरैशी जब हम कार्डियोलॉजी की बातें करते हैं कोलेस्ट्रॉल की बातें करते हैं तो हमारे जहन में कोई एक पिक्चर ही नहीं आती है कि हम एक बच्चे को भी उसमें शामिल करें ज़्यादातर हम बात करते हैं एडल्ट की बूढ़े लोगों की बातें करते हैं कि ये चीज़ ऐसी है जो उनको अफेक्ट कर सकती है एंड वी नेवर थिंक अ चाइल्ड कैन हैव दैट प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो सो वाई डोंट यू टॉक अबाउट दैट एंड वाई इट इज़ सो इम्पॉर्टेंट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर हैविंग मी हियर इट्स एंड आई थिंक यू रेज अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बिकॉज congenital heart disease and diseases in children as far as the heart is concerned the awareness is not as much even among physicians i should say whenever i am talking to my adult adult colleagues even they sometimes they ask me um you're a pediatric cardiologist and what kind of uh, diseases do you deal you know, why, with do they genius. really have any <laughs> heart diseases my children's pediatric pediatrician never check the heart problem right regular you know? <laughs> <laughs> check up exactly so. so it's a very interesting field yeah. and especially pediatric cardiology has developed tremendously in the past 50 years as the surgical techniques have developed and um, the awareness has become even more and the morbidity and mortality has decreased tremendously in pediatric cardiology mm-hmm. now having said that can children have heart disease sure you can have n- numerous types of congenital heart diseases which are diseases which children are born with mm-hmm. so sometimes um there are two types of congenital heart disease actually we classify them under two major categories one is a cyanotic type of congenital heart disease where children are born blue after birth mm-hmm. and these are very sick children and they have to be taken care of immediately after birth you have to make a correct diagnosis it's a timely diagnosis and you have to take care of them immediately after birth mm-hmm. otherwise these babies can die mm-hmm. soon after birth so these children are classified under cyanotic type of heart disease which are otherwise called blue babies mm-hmm. there are other types of congenital heart diseases which are called acyanotic meaning they are born pink like any normal kid without any heart disease but they also have significant heart problems like if you have holes inside the heart i brought my heart model just to make things little more clear mm-hmm. this is the heart model mm-hmm. this is how it looks and um, if you open up the heart in cross section we have four chambers these are the two upper chambers and these lower. are two lower chambers the upper chambers are the receiving chambers mm-hmm. and the bottom chambers are the pumping chambers so the blood comes from lower half of the body through this tube which is called the inferior vena cava and the blood from the upper half of the body comes through this blue tube which is called the superior vena cava and drains into this receiving chamber which is called the right atrium mm-hmm. so this is the deoxygenated blood or unclean blood right so once it comes and collects in this chamber it gets pumped into this pumping mm-hmm. chamber which is called the right ventricle mm-hmm. so from this pumping chamber the deoxygenated or the unclean blood gets pumped through this tube which is again in blue which is called the pulmonary artery which carries the blood from the heart to the lungs mm-hmm. for the blood to get purified and once the blood gets oxygenated in the lungs it gets purified it comes back to the heart into this receiving chamber which is called the left atrium mm-hmm. we have two pulmonary veins which come from each lung two from each lung and they drain into this receiving chamber which is called the left atrium mm-hmm. so the oxygenated blood or the pure blood 
from this chamber gets pumped into this pumping chamber which is called the left ventricle. Mm -hmm. From here the oxygenated blood gets pumped through this red tube which is called the iota into which carries the clean blood to the whole body, to the brain and to the whole of the body. Right. So this is in brief the anatomy and the physiology of the heart. Now if you are born blue mm -hmm. there can be several things which can be happening. Mm -hmm. If the arteries instead of coming off from this receiving from this pumping chamber if it comes from this pumping chamber which is called transposition of great arteries you can have blue babies. Okay. These are some of the very severe form of congenital heart disease. But That's they can be treated? Yes. If it's diagnosed at right time of away. birth, mm -hmm. then we start them on medication, no matter which hospital they're born. Usually, we see this every now and then. The incidence of congenital heart disease is about 8 per thousand, which is about just under 1%. Mm -hmm. So it's not uncommon, although it's not very common as you might expect, but it's not uncommon either. Mm -hmm. So wherever the kid is born, if, it's m if the diagnosis is made in a timely fashion soon after birth, there's a medication which is called prostaglandin E1, yes. which helps to shunt the blood between the clean and the unclean blood, and that you can actually buy some time until the kid is transferred over to okay. a tertiary care center mm -hmm. where it has to be surgically corrected. So this is just one form of congenital heart disease. So there are other forms of congenital heart disease which are acyanotic, which I said, if you have small holes inside the heart, these are also defects from birth, but they don't cause blue discoloration at the time of birth. So they're born pink, and if they're small holes, usually, even though it might sound very frightening, especially to the parents, whenever we give them the but diagnosis. can they be diagnosed at the time of birth? Sure. Or usually Most of the time, it can be diagnosed at the time of birth. The only thing which cannot be diagnosed at the time of birth mm -hmm. are if there are small holes inside the heart where the physicians examining the babies after birth, if they don't hear a murmur, which is not very uncommon because the pressures in the lungs are still high when the baby is born after birth, so you don't really hear any murmurs. Murmurs are extra sound, which you hear when you're auscultating the heart, when you're listening to the heart with your stethoscope, you hear those extra sounds. Right. So in newborns, if they are very small, usually they may not. But otherwise, in general, these can be diagnosed at the time of birth. Um, pediatric cardiology has advanced so much nowadays that um, you not only can make these diagnoses at the time of birth, but you can also make this diagnosis even before birth, when the baby is inside the mother, mm -hmm. when they are still developing during pregnancy. During, pregnancy. Mm -hmm. during the fetal life, you can make the diagnosis of congenital heart disease quite precisely even before birth.